African and European leaders have agreed to push wealthier countries to reallocate $100 billion in international monetary fund reserves to African states, planned for October. That was the outcome of a summit held in Paris on Tuesday. A communique said a substantial financial package is needed so African countries are not left behind in an economic recovery from the global health crisis. Key to the talks were what's called special drawing rights, or SDRs, from the IMF reserves and reallocating them from richer nations to the continent. French President Emmanuel Macron said France and several European countries were aboard. Our work in the coming weeks will be to convince others to make the same effort as France, starting of course with the United States of America. The summit's part of Macron's effort to recast France's engagement in Africa, where it was once a colonial power. It also comes at a time when the continent faces a near $300 billion deficit by the end of 2023. The African Development Bank has forecast that 39 million people could fall into poverty this year. Senegal's President Macky Sall welcomed the plans, describing it as a change of paradigm. On a Africa is used to seeing projects and programs being conceived for it and imposed on it. Today we're building what we need for us, together. I think that's what's new, and that's why there is hope. The International Monetary Fund's chief, Kristalina Georgieva, said Africa's economic output would increase by only 3.2% in 2021, compared with 6% for the rest of the world. Revenues are down, expenditures are up, and that is high. Georgieva pledged to come up with a new allocation proposal by August.